Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Kastner. Welcome to my beach cottage kitchen in Encinitas, California. I'm super excited to share my favorite recipe for sweet potato fries. And these are baked so they have a lot less fat than they do at the restaurant, even though I love the restaurant ones also, but I want to give you the recipe so you can make them at home and you don't have to wait till you go out to eat. So it's so simple. Four ingredients, okay? Sweet potato, I do three medium sweet potatoes. That's up to you how much you want. And that makes about four servings for me and my husband for two days, and we eat a lot. You're gonna use a tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and then some cinnamon, actually lots of cinnamon, because that's what makes them so good. They're kind of sweet and savory. And then some pepper, okay? And we don't even use salt. We do a little salt when they're done, but you don't have to cook them with the salt. So I did a little prep here just so I wouldn't take up too much time chopping with you, but I did want to show you again this awesome peeler. This is the piranha. I introduced this before when we were peeling the butternut squash, like the fish piranha, and I get it at Sur La Table. It was like eight bucks. You can also order it, order it on Amazon. So it just peels things so easy and fast. So I already did that, and then I began cutting them up. And you want to cut them evenly as much as possible. Mine don't always turn out perfectly, but then when you go to bake them, some aren't getting overdone, some aren't underdone. If you make them too fat, it does take a lot longer to get them underdone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up this last half. And I'll just show you how I do it. So I cut it in half initially, peeled, and then I cut that half in half. And then I just really, from there, I just keep halving. And that's just my simple way you can cut them any way you want. But again, just try to get them somewhat the same size. But cutting the potato in half initially helps. And that really, to me, what used to be the hardest part, I used to just have my husband cut them because I didn't think I was very good at cutting them, but it just, like everything, takes practice. And then sometimes you may even need to cut that half in half. So you can make them any way you like. But again, if they're too fat, they take too long to cook. And before you even chop, preheat your oven at 425, just to get that going. And we're almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and half the halves and move on. So then you're gonna take all your fries. So this is, this is only two medium sweet potatoes. And look how many fries that is. It's a lot of fries. Okay, put them in a large mixing bowl, very simple. Add our oil so this will help the oil will help them to get crispy and it'll help them also to not dry out and to absorb our spices so just do a tablespoon of olive oil you can adjust that you can do less if you don't do a lot of oil this is organic extra virgin olive oil or you can do more and then we're gonna really shake on the cinnamon because it's our experience that you can't have enough cinnamon because the cinnamon makes it so great and we'll see how that goes and I can always add more now you can overdo the pepper so don't overdo your pepper because that's not fun all right so I'm going to measure my pepper do a fourth of a teaspoon or even less depending on your desire and tolerance for black pepper Okay, because you don't want to do overdo it. So a little bit of pepper, so we have sweet and savory. And then we're gonna actually just use our hands. I've washed my hands, and then we're gonna get dirty. Mix the olive oil, sweet potatoes, cinnamon, and pepper. How easy is that? Four ingredients. Does it look like I need more cinnamon? More oil, more cinnamon. Oh, more oil and cinnamon, says my husband Wade. <laughs> so that was a tablespoon, how about a half? For another? Sure. Yeah, okay. Whoops, and we got a little bit more. Okay, and more cinnamon. My awesome, Co Kirk, excuse me, Costco Kirkland cinnamon, because we use so much of it. I'm gonna toss it again. Okay, so really, the biggest time expense is just cutting them up, and once you, you know, get practice at cutting, it's so easy. And they are delicious. I have a client, and I just gave him this recipe a week ago, and he's like, I've made your sweet potato fries five times. So they really are good. And then we're going to take our baking sheets. 
These are our very well used baking sheets, but you don't have to spray it. You don't have to line it with parchment paper. We're just going to spread it out on a couple of sheets actually so that they can bake evenly. And then we're going to bake it for around 30 minutes until they're fork tender because they definitely aren't as good when they're undercooked. When you can taste it being a little bit raw and some might feel a little more cooked than others. So try a little test with a couple of them before you pull them out of the oven. Because when they're fully cooked, 30, maybe even more, just depends if you cut them fat, that will help them to get done, okay? So to be honest with you, after you bake them at 425 for around 30 minutes, they really don't look much different than this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven, but when they come out, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Of course, you can use your favorite condiments. I am still a complete ketchup girl. I love Simple Truth Organic Kroger brand. And Wade, my husband, loves his Cholula hot sauce. You can do whatever you want. There are vegan ranch dressing recipes online. And then I also wanted to introduce, eventually I'm gonna show you one of my favorite veggie burger recipes, but in the meantime, just to help you save time, this is my favorite quick go-to frozen veggie burger by Dr. Prager. This is the California veggie burger. It's vegan and gluten-free, only 120 calories. I actually don't really count calories, but if you're interested. So you can have it on a bun, you can have it by itself. I like to cook them on the stove top and then cut them in eighths and actually put them on top of salads also, just to give the salads a little sustenance. sustenance. Because they're made with veggies, they're made with broccoli, and beans and carrots, and they're good. They're, they're a great way just to get by without having to make the whole veggie burger, which is what we're also doing tonight, but it takes too, too much time. So I hope you'll try these awesome baked cinnamon sweet potato fries with your favorite condiments and a veggie burger or no veggie burger. They actually can be a meal if you really like sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes are so good for you. They have no cholesterol, they're low in calorie, they have zero fat, they're high in beta carotene, so they are a wonderful plant-based food. So I hope you'll give them a try. And as always, thank you for joining me and saving animals with your food choices. Have a great week. And here's a little sneak teaser for the ingredients. Those are onions and Granny Smith apples and butternut squash. We're gonna be using those ingredients in making our veggie burgers, yum.